Welcome to MazelanMyCity.com. Today you're watching The Spirit of Mazelan. And we have another great show for you guys today. You know, guys, I was shopping the other day down near the Mercado for shoes, just shoes. And do you know, I went in this store, found the pair I'd like, and then couldn't get waited on. The ladies were all gathered at one end of the store around a television. And I'm, come on, I just want to try these on. What's happening here? Were they pumps or flats? <laughs> Two inches. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I had a, a really similar situation uh, at the dentist office. Sure. I was, uh, I, I couldn't get the lady to actually acknowledge me. She was glued to the TV. Yeah. And I was wondering, are those the Latin soap operas they talk about, the telenovelas? <laughs> telenovelas. Telenovelas. You know, telenovelas in Mexico, Mexico is, I think, is a multi-billion multi dollar business. They export telenovelas all over the world. I mean, people in Japan know the names of the, of the Mexican soap opera stars. It is a huge business. Mm. It's kind of like Bollywood. Almost. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had an experience with... Um, the the telenovelas. telenovelas. I, would, I did. I was uh, promoting my book in um, Brazil. Okay. And so what they did is they brought me to all the beauty shops that the soap opera stars go to, uh -huh. and <laughs> so that I could try to get a photo op. The more soap opera stars that I had in a picture with me, the more books I would sell. And it was so, wow. yeah, it was really weird, but it was, there was security, there was paparazzi, it was huge. It's like the Lady Gaga and George Clooney, huge. It really is a booming business. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 you guys. <laughs> Enough, see now, can we talk about something what? I'd what? like to oh, Your please. shoes? <laughs> <laughs> We've talked that into the ground. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, really horses, horses now, but check this out. Bilingual horses, uh, who really? would have thought? So these Come are on. horses that actually speak more Spanish than you? <laughs> no question. <laughs> no question about it. <laughs> Folks, today visiting with us is Ginger with her bilingual horses here to help us understand just how they do that. Welcome, Welcome. to the show, Ginger. Good to have you, Ginger. <laughs> Ooh, first. It is really, really yeah. good to have you with us, Ginger. I've heard, I, you know, I know you personally, but before I met you, I heard so many amazing things about what you do in your horses. It's very, very cool. Gotcha. So, but you know what? These guys don't believe this bilingual thing. I've had a hard time here, Ginger. You're going to have to bail me out. <laughs> What's this all about? Bilingual horses. Well, of course, it's a catchphrase, which uh -huh. I've been happy with for the 25 years that I've been here doing this. 25 years. That wow. makes it good. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, I always tell people it's very easy to make horses bilingual because the word for quo is the same pretty much in Spanish. Sure. Quo, oh. And to make them go forward, you just go... That's international. That's oh. international. So Pete, oh. we can yeah. teach you to be bilingual I'm a, too. I'm, a, I'm an international destination, <laughs> darling. Now, I've heard that yeah. riding horses is very therapeutic. Is that true? Uh, like, do, do people go there for therapy or is it relaxing or does it help the emotions? What, what is that about? Absolutely. I started riding when I was very young. Really? And the thing that it is, it's just such a nature kind of thing. So nature is, to me anyway, and to many people, always therapeutic. Sure. So when you're riding along a beautiful beach and it's quiet and you're with an animal, a feeling and thinking animal, it's, it's very therapeutic in all ways. What about the, um, I know that I had heard that you had donated a horse to uh, a learning disabled. Can you tell us about that and okay. what, what the horses do for, for these adults or children? Just mm -hmm. tell us more about that. Actually, it was two horses um, oh. this past year. They were oh. ready to retire oh. and uh, they were still healthy and still moving well. So um, I discovered that there is a therapeutic riding center here of which there are all over the world. Wow. And uh, so I went and talked to the people and they were thrilled. They only had two horses, they needed two more. So my two elderly horses are now uh, doing therapy with mostly small children, uh, physically disabled, uh, wow. spina bifida, things like that. 
So it's wonderful. They they ride the horses with a with people holding them and helping them get to pet them and be oh, with them. Yeah. And it's uh -huh. very very therapeutic in their cases. But even as a as a as an adult, you still get those benefits. Oh, absolutely. Right. In fact, they have troubled teens there at this place too. Oh. And they ride the horses and they just get a uh, it, it gives them a great feeling too. So. Do they find improvement in the patient? with this kind of therapy? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They evidently, uh, it's very good for the muscles, uh -huh. but it's also good for their psyche. Mm. Wow. Well, I know when I've, yeah. when I've ridden yeah. a horse, my, 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 my muscles are sore. It's like I couldn't walk for a while. Sure, it's sure. like, it's really, now, so where, you ride on the beach, you ride around the ranch, uh -huh. and you go to the beach, is that correct? Yes, most of our rides are on the beach because that's what people want. People that come on holiday that just want to mm -hmm. ride for an hour and have a, a little thing to do while they're on vacation, they want a beach ride. So we are out on Delphine Beach, which is very quiet, oh, and yeah. the horses are used to the waves yeah. coming under them. Wow, oh, that's oh. cool. Now, do you so need it to have any experience? Do you need to be an experienced rider? Not on to my horses. Okay, good. I need well. only the good, kind ones, and um, they uh, will will just pretty much take any kind of rider. We help people. My guides are excellent and they're bilingual too, by the way. So you don't go out by yourself, you have a guide? No, we have a guide that goes with every group. That way okay, everyone good. has help if they need it. Sure. Mm -hmm. So where do we, if we want to book a ride with you, do, do you have a website? I do have a website and a Facebook site, so you can find me. Um, by, by just looking those, those go ahead, sites go, up. Tell us the website. Say it, say it okay, for the Okay, well, the website is www.masinfo.com uh, slash gingers horses, and okay, you'll get okay. pictures and all the information that you need, and then you can, you can sign up online, or perfect. you can just call me. My number's out there. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ginger. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a great show. I know I want to go horseback riding. Please. Stay tuned, because we have Brentster. And we also have Tanya, so don't miss out. We'll see you soon. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. On this show of the Spirit of Mazatlan, we're going to perform a song that I wrote several years ago, along with my beautiful singing partner, Miss Tanya Karum. It's a song called Marry Me in Mexico, and uh, what a great place to get married if you ever decide. Come on down to Mazatlan. Here's one called Marry Me in Mexico. Getting around to the question The one you know I know All our love needs is a blessing Then we're good to go Mexico just before sunset I'll give you a life that you won't forget or regret Here with love and honor and all the things that last Marry me in Mexico just say Just before sunset I'll 
Give you a life that you won't forget or regret Filled with love and honor And all the things that last Marry me in Mexico Just say yes So marry me in Mexico Just say yes. <laughs>